Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Murash Cuisine. You must have known it's a national pizza month. So I thought to share something going with the theme. Today I'm sharing chicken tikka pizza, which is enjoyed by kids and adults alike. It's a very favorite flavor around and I'm sharing a pizza dough recipe as well, which is a no fail pizza dough I already shared before, but this time with more details and clear pictures. So let's go and make our pizza dough first and then we're gonna go and make our chicken tikka pizza. Most important ingredient to make the pizza dough is yeast. I'm using instant yeast today so you can skip this step but I'm just showing it you guys. So just mix the yeast with the lukewarm water. Leave it for 5-10 minutes and after that here you can see the bubbles are coming on top. It means your yeast is perfect to be used for this recipe and it's activated. Again, we can skip this mixing part and directly add um, the yeast in your dough. Now I'm using a stand mixture to make my dough, but you can uh, do it by hand. I'm adding all-purpose flour with some butter, salt, sugar, and here you can see how bubbly is my yeast now after leaving for some time. So just add this mixed yeast. And then I'll start kneading my dough with the lukewarm water. Now make sure your water should not be very hot or very cold. And uh, one more thing to remember, your end results should be soft. And we need to, uh, when the dough is formed, we need to knead it for extra 10-15 minutes. The more you knead, the softer and the nicer the result will be. Now my dough is completely done. As you can see, it's so soft that it's hard for the dough to hang on the hook. That's how it should be. Now you can transfer your dough into a greased bowl. I'm using the same bowl, just grease the bowl and uh, just grease the top of the dough as well. Smooth the top and then I cover and I leave it on the side to rice the dough for at least hour or two. Meanwhile, let's go and make our filling. As I already mentioned, I'm making chicken tikka today. I take the boneless chicken, add some chicken tikka masala, lemon juice and mix everything well until combined. I'm not using any kind of grease, oil or butter in this recipe. Uh, cheese is enough for the greasy texture. Um, then I am giving a smoky flavor since it's chicken tikka. Just um, add a little bit of oil on a smoky piece of charcoal and leave it for at least 10 minutes. For the toppings, I'm using cubed onions and sliced jalapeno. You can use any other vegetables as well of your choice. So after some time to transfer your chicken into a saucepan with all the masala, then I'll cook this chicken covered on a slow flame until chicken release all its water. Then I start cooking the chicken until chicken is completely tender and all the extra water dries out. With the help of spoon, I break the chicken into small pieces. You can use a whole chicken for this recipe as well. Now main ingredient for the pizza, the cheese. So today I'm using two kinds of cheese here, mozzarella cheese and the cheddar cheese. You can use other cheese as well for this recipe, but these two cheeses are enough. They will create the right flavor and the right texture we need for the pizza. Now after a couple of hours, our pizza must be rising. As you can see here, it's double the size, so punch down the extra air with a greasy hand, which already developed in the pizza dough while we keep it on the side to rise in to smooth the dough and knead it for um, five minutes again and then i actually make a three 12 inch pizza out of this dough recipe so i'm taking a 12 inch pizza plate i grease the pizza plate with the butter very well the sides and the base as well then i take a third of the piece of my pizza dough and then with the greasy hand, I start stretching the dough onto my pizza plate. You can use rolling pin to uh, roll the pizza, but I prefer one, the stretchy look of the pizza dough. Second, this um, pizza dough recipe is so perfect that it stretched very well. So just grease your hand with a thumb in the hand, just stretch the pizza on the pizza plate and cover any peeking through pizza plate with the hand as well. Now I'm using a store-bought pizza sauce today. So just use two to three tablespoons or according to your family preference, just spread the pizza sauce on top of your pizza dough. And I use the back of the spoon to spread it all over. Then I sprinkle a little bit of cherry cheese to start off the toppings. This will enhance the flavor. 
Then I arrange our cooked chicken tikka chunks which are completely cooled down at this time. Then here uh, goes our mix of cheddar and mozzarella. Just sprinkle all around. Uh, you can layer them or you can top it off with mozzarella as well and you can add as much cheese as you want. Then I'm arranging some cube onions and sliced jalapenos. Then I sprinkle some dried oregano leaves and some crushed red peppers. You can of course skip that. Now pizza are supposed to be baked on the highest temperature of your oven. You can do 500 degrees. I'm doing 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Put it in the middle rack and bake for 10 to 15 minutes or until the base is completely cooked and browned and top is cooked and cheese is bubbly as you can see here. Now you can slice your pizza into wedges and your chicken tikka pizza it's ready to serve. Crispy but soft, fluffy and airy pizza crust with spicy tikka chunks, onions, jalapenos and covered with extra cheese. You can add fresh cilantro as well to give it a distinctive desi twist. It is quite simple and requires only simple ingredients, especially the crust. It's so versatile you can make thin crust, stuffed crust or even a deep dish and they always comes out perfect with this recipe. And if you are trying this at home, please don't forget to take a picture and send it to me. And if you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to make it happen. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to click on the links to enjoy more recipes like this.